Kalimera! We are back, we are back. after a long, 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 long time. Big break because we got a big baby boy. Or we you have got a baby. <laughs> the Athens Whites got a baby. Yes. So now he's actually Diomenes. Diomenes. Two months. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I think he you told me he just had birthday. Yeah. Yes. Um, months. Yeah, uh, months birthday. Two months. So yesterday he was two months. Mm -hmm. He's sitting here. He's chilling uh, here, next chilling uh, on what, the floor watching. in a relaxing chair. Let's see if uh, we he, he can say hello to you. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lift him. You will lift him. <laughs> Ella. Alexandros. Alexandros. Hi. The Greek Viking. Uh, like four weeks ago, you came here and I was telling you uh, the story uh, About the... from the day when uh, Alexandros was born. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we recorded it. So here it comes. Here it comes. The baby came four days early. Mm. It was uh, 28th of September. Yes. Actually, I was sitting and editing some YouTube. Yeah. And at the evening, and I felt some like, you know, the pain you have when you have your period. Yeah. Oh, a that's, little bit. That's like horrible. But not much. I just felt a little bit. And I was like, ah, this is nothing. I yeah. continued editing. And then like two o'clock, I went to bed. And then I woke up three o'clock, and I f by I felt the the water. The water. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. That's when you sent me three o'clock. Yeah. Water out. No yeah. Water. What? And I was like, I I was just lying, like freeze, like what happened? I just felt okay, it coming now out. It's like yeah, now is the moment. And I was like, Yorgos, Yorgos, and uh, he was like, what? Yeah, but I think the water broke. <laughs> <laughs> and then I... Was it a lot? Or? Yeah, not a lot, a lot, but... I don't know, it hears, when you hear like the water broke, it feels like it's a tsunami yeah. coming, something like... Whoosh. No, it was not like a splash, like in the movies. It was okay, like... Yeah, because yeah, that's when you yeah. see a movie, that's why I think yeah. it's a lot. And then uh, I called my doctor. Ah, oh, you called her three in the night? Yeah, three ah. o'clock in the night. She told me I can call her whenever. And she said, yeah. okay, you need to go to the hospital. Mm, what like, did directly. you do? Call a Uber like, or whatever? Yeah, we took a taxi to the hospital, to Marusi. It's far, far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh but first, I was, uh, I was to her, like, first. Uh, I, I asked her, Is he, am I in a hurry or can I take a shower first? And, wow. uh, <laughs> oh my this? and she was like, you can take a shower. So I was like, okay, and then, of course, I hadn't even packed my I hospital bag. I like that you can take a shower. Yeah. I, just, I was kind That's of like cold. the first thing I want to do, have a shower. Yeah, and we went to the hospital, I think like 4.30. So after one and a half hour after the water break. And yeah, my doctor said, I will meet you there. Oh, and she came in a... Yeah, but not so early. Uh, first, when we came to the hospital, they took me in for like preparation. Yeah. So Jorgos has to wait uh, outside. They took me in and they checked um, like blood pressure. Mm. They asked me about my medical history. They gave you this uh, liquid. <laughs> I think I told you, which was the the liquid uh, that make you uh, poop. Oh yes, and yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. To empty your yeah, you, ma you must yeah, yeah, empty yeah. your uh, stomach for the baby to have uh, free. Uh, Free space. Yeah, free space. Clean, clean. There should not uh, be anything yeah. there. So it was like a liquid. They uh, uh, put it in uh, the Kolosribida. <laughs> in Afto, in Agilica. <laughs> what is that? And uh, they, I also got, uh, um, they changed clothes. I got like, you know, this oh, yeah, robe. The... That which... you see on movies. Yeah, like yeah. you have open uh, yeah, yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you just like tie a little uh, stand there. Like, uh, yeah. So... Yes, yes this I have seen very, uh, yeah. very nice dress I got in there. And uh, yeah, but then they rolled me in a wheelchair, actually, yeah. <laughs> to uh, my labor room, it was called. It was very cozy. And you were it, alone there? Or yeah, yeah, it was my own room. It was a very nice bed. I had a TV and mm. there were like a uh, lamp, like the light was, yeah, like inside here. Yeah, very like, like cozy. Yeah, yeah. Comfy. cozy lights. Oh, that's nice. And I had my own bathroom. Did you take any photos from that? From that no. Room? 
Oh. Well, you didn't do that. I want to see. I don't know. I was busy in my yeah, head. Yeah, you okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but it was very comfy in there, and they put like um, something on my stomach connected to a machine that will oh, check the, the circles. The... Yeah, I have seen the movies. Yeah, <laughs> they check the contractions and how often and how big they are. Mm. Uh, and they gave me also uh, IV. Is it called IV? Needle. With yeah. The, with the with hydration yes. and the nutrition and this. Yeah. And then uh, Jorgos came also ah, because yeah, he was, was in the waiting room. He came inside in this blue. Uh, oh, like a doctor. Yeah. yeah. Blue <laughs> robe and mask and this. My doctor came mm. also, and uh, she was um, checking, like, examinated me. To yeah. see uh, inside what was happened, mm. and uh, she said, "Oh, nothing has happened yet. Uh, you're totally closed, uh, locked." Yeah. yeah, and I was like, "Okay." And she said, "This will take many, many hours." I, I was, I was uh, texting like, with oh. Jorgo that uh, yeah, because I remember he texted me and said that okay. First okay. he said first the the message that he said the water mm-hmm. left. We went to hospital, <laughs> and then uh, Jorgo say that no, it's totally locked. Yeah. Nothing gonna happen yet. I I was in a lot of pain actually. I felt the contractions like, coming, like period pain, but worse very than... heavy. Oh. And oh. like it was like I felt them, and I almost start shaking. And I felt like um, nausea, you know, uh, that you want to throw yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they gave me like a box to mm. throw up in, but I didn't do it. Okay. But it was very. And my doctor said. Uh, if you want epidural, just say the word if you want epidural. We can give it now if you want. Okay. And I was like, okay, even if I'm not even open yet, yeah, uh, can I get it? She was like, if you want. And I was like, yeah, but okay, what is yeah. Should I take it why now? should I wait? I was yeah. like, why should I wait? Okay, I want it. And like thirty seconds later, and what was? Is it like a needle? Yeah, and a big needle in the platy in the back. Was it pain when I put it? No, nothing oh. at all. Okay. And then they, just I just lied on the side and they put it in and it was done. And uh, how fast it worked until then? Uh, maybe 10 minutes or something. Okay, and then you were like without pain? Uh, not exact. I, it was easier. It okay. was not that I wanted to throw up and this, it, but I still felt it. Okay. No. But it was okay. And then uh, she said, okay, now you can sleep for a few hours uh, because I hadn't slept anything during the night. No. So she was like, you can sleep a few hours and uh, I will be back in one hour to uh, check again uh, yeah. if you are open. And I told Jorgos, okay, because Jorgos' parents had come to the hospital also. Mm. So I said, you can go out to your parents, have a coffee, be back in a few hours. Um, so he left, the doctor left, and I was lying there trying to sleep, but I still had pain, even with the epidural. Okay. So I was like, okay, I couldn't sleep. I was trying to sleep. Between the contractions, I like fell asleep, and then when the pain came, uh, I yeah. woke Ooh. up. It was like just, this. Yeah. And then after one hour, the doctor came inside, and she was like, did you sleep anything? I was like, no, I'm still in pain, actually. And she was like, okay, and she was examining me. And she, wa- I saw on her face, she was like, okay, this is crazy. I was like, what? She was like, you are fully open. Uh-huh. You, are, okay. you are 10 centimeters open. And 10 centimeters is the final... Can you just say how many? 10. She was like, it's, uh, of course you are in pain. <laughs> she was like, mm, yeah. that's why you are in pain. I was like, okay. And this oh was one hour, and I was like, oh my god, I told Jorgos to come back in like two hours. <laughs> go and have a coffee yeah. or go with your yeah. family. And, and my back. doctor was like, I need to go and change, the baby's coming now. And I was like, <laughs> okay. But then Jorgos and what came. You were just lying there and like... Yeah, no, okay. then I was, I think I got nervous then, because I was like, okay, the baby's coming. I oh my started god. to feel a little <laughs> oh bit my god. panic. Yeah, yeah. And then Jorgos came actually, just to check. On oh, me. So he maybe yeah. he had a feeling. Yeah, maybe he, he and had... Alexandros has this yeah, uh, connection. Connection in yeah. the end. Yeah. So he came and uh, I was like, the baby's coming. I'm fully open. And Jorgos was like, what? Yeah. And then um, yeah. And then we did some uh, uh, push. Yeah. Pushing. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, okay, push, 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 push. Hold it, hold it. Okay. Now relax. 
yeah, and we were doing this for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then when we were close for the baby to come out, they take me to another room. They drove me in the bed. Okay. Like out and then into another room. Like it was more like a... Hospital room? Yeah, mm -hmm. like uh, where you do surgery. Yeah, like yeah, very I can imagine. Hospital yes, yes. Room. And it was like a bed in the middle, so they put me over there and it was this uh, where you put your feet up. Uh, ah, like yeah, like the, the doctor. Yeah, again. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doctor movie. Uh, and it was a lot of doctors inside and uh, Jorgos was like next to me here. And uh, yeah, we continued to do the push, 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 oh okay, God. hold oh it. <laughs> ah, yeah, I forgot to tell you that uh, when my doctor... Um, saw that I was uh, fully open, 10 mm -hmm. centimeters, and I was in pain, they, yeah. she gave me more of the epidural. epidural yeah. Yes, so she filled it up and then the pain disappeared. So also when we were in the pushing room, <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't feel I it. didn't feel anything. Oh, no. I was pushing, pushing, they told me when to push, and then suddenly he was out. So I didn't feel any pain. That's so good, yes. actually. Yeah, what the... F I really uh, yeah. recommend epidural. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, take epidural. I don't know why you shouldn't take it. Yeah, I have because I have also heard uh, some people doesn't want it and but yeah, I can't. I hate pain. It's like pain. I is... don't understand why you don't take it. It was yeah, that must be so much better. Yeah, I didn't feel anything. I mean, it was uh, tough because I had to like push, push, push. Very. Uh, I mean, it yeah. was still difficult, but yeah, I didn't feel the pain. Oh, but that's like very this. good. Yes, I was completely closed yeah. when I uh, asked for epidural mm -hmm. and it was no problem. They gave it to me directly and I was very shocked about that because in Sweden you're not allowed to take epidural if you're not five centimeters open, I think. Okay, I, I have no idea how it yeah. is in Norway, but I think that Norway and Sweden is pretty yeah. much the same. It's so, like okay. you, you need to do uh, some work before you get the epidural in Sweden yeah. and then when you're five centimeters open you can get it uh, but here it was like if you want it now take it now and we will just uh, fill it up mm. if um, yeah but that's more. good because okay yeah yeah I think we were in this surgery room for like 10 minutes Ah. And then uh, the baby was out. Yeah, because he came fast. That's very yeah. fast. Very fast. He was uh, yeah. hungry they to meet me, the world. <laughs> yeah, and they put him uh, on my chest. Yeah. What you were thinking that moment when they put him... I mean, I, I just feel it feels so I weird. Don't, like, it, I think you In just, my head, it sounds yeah. like, okay, you push out a baby and then someone put it and like, hello, this is yours. Yeah. And then like, I was just wow. looking at him and was like... I don't yeah, remember. I was like, hello. Yeah, what, what to do? What yeah. I'm going to keep you, I mean, forever. But yeah. I mean, like, I am going to be responsible for you now. Forever. Forever. Yeah. yeah that, it, it sounds so crazy. <laughs> yes. And then uh, Jorgos cut the umbilical cord. Yeah, the long, the, from the belly. From the belly button. Yeah, yes. The belly thing. Yes. He cut this. And uh, yeah, then they checked the baby, like the weight and the... I don't know, they checked some things. <laughs> How many kilos? Oh, grams? He was in grams, he was uh, 3,460 yeah. grams. So kind of big, but not uh, too big. Yeah. Isn't kind that of normal. normal. Yeah, yeah, isn't that a normal? I'm yeah. not sure, but I think it's something with three. Yeah. But then, like, uh, when I saw the other babies in the hospital, everybody was much smaller than my baby. Oh, he's and big everybody boy. was everybody was calling my baby the big baby. <laughs> oh. But then, yeah, then they took the baby, actually, and Jorgos, out to the waiting area, because okay. Jorgos' parents were sitting there. Yeah. And they showed uh, the baby to uh, them. Oh, and, and they uh, said they were And no then one. they told, and, uh, ah, yeah, and they fixed me... Like they cleaned me and um, yeah. fresh up uh, yeah. ah, stitches, stitches, <laughs> some <laughs> some stitches here and there. Yeah. And then after this, they took me to my room. Ah, the room we booked. We booked a triclino. It's a room it's like a we room. share with two others. Ah, triclino. Tri tri triclino. Trio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because we were three persons in this room. So and there we stayed three days. 
in this room. And it was good, like you had food, you have... Yes, it was very nice, this room. And actually, I think it was nice to share room. Yeah, because, yeah, because you had I, company. Yeah. And if I yes. would have been alone in a room with my baby next to me, totally alone, I would be stressed, I think. Yeah, now you had like other... Yeah, the same now situation. I had... Yeah, yes. so you could talk with them and then the, like the nurses and midwives came inside uh, mm -hmm. to check with one baby maybe and I could like, oh sorry, can I just ask you something? Like, yes, it was much yes, more that's movement. actually... Yeah, that makes sense. It's to, yeah, I Because think... I remember before we were like, oh, okay, you're gonna share room. Yeah, you were like in... it was a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. but... Yeah, it actually makes much more yeah. sense. That it's it was the, uh, uh, much more nice that it was some movements there. Some yeah. midwives came inside and you could like ask questions. And they had also a baby same time as you? Yeah. Like, same day. Okay. Yeah. So actually it was very nice. And like you said, very good food. Yeah, that's... Uh, I got like that breakfast, <laughs> lunch, dinner and snacks and... What like did they give you? Like, let's say for dinner... I think I got like did pasticcio. Did you have moussaka? No. I had pasticcio. Oh, a little, yeah. okay. And yeah, it was very nice. And you got like bread and salad and yeah, it was very, very nice Good food. following up. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. And then we stayed there for three days. Jorgos went home in the night to sleep. Oh, because nice. he yes. didn't have a bed, so... So he just went here for sleep and yeah, came back. Yeah, and came back in the morning. So he was at the hospital to like 12 o'clock in the evening. And then he came back like 9 o'clock in the morning. the morning. So yeah, he was there all the time. And uh, yeah, it was very Shit, nice. It's, uh, I'm so happy that yeah. you had, uh, I, I have learned one thing is that I'm gonna use that hospital. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so was a very nice hospital. But I'm so I'm glad like, everything yeah. because we were so stressed yeah. in the, like in the beginning of yeah, all this. Yeah, where to give birth. And it sounds like everything happy. went like perfectly good yeah. for you. Yeah. I'm so happy that I chose the private hospital and yeah. Yaso. Everybody at Yaso was mm -hmm. so nice. Like all the doctors and the midwives and and that's good. Yeah. Because and everybody spoke feel it. Yeah. English also. Very good. That's another 10 of them. Yeah. <laughs> You had a good experience. Yes. And I thought actually it would be worse. Yeah. I'm like, since I haven't seen her, but we have talked on this. And yeah. you haven't... You, it's like you just like... Everything went perfectly. Yes. It really went yeah. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but it was interesting. I mean, uh, I'm very surprised how nice everything yes, went. Yes. It was a very good experience I had. Yeah. I'm so happy to hear that because now it makes... I know now where... She My will time the will same, be. Uh, everything. I will follow your steps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so thank you for watching. And yes, uh, we see you we soon. See you soon. Yasas. Yasas.